670 horsepower and top speeds of up to 320 kilometers an hour, the new model of the Lamborghini Murcielago has won the heart of the governor of California and former Hollywood superstar Arnold Schwarzenegger. An elegant Maserati or a sporty Ferrari? Men love fast cars. Women, on the other hand, prefer more practical things. They like compact and medium-sized cars in cool designs with plenty of room in the trunk for shopping. That's the cliché. But what do women really want in a car? Auto expert Konrad Wessner from Nuremberg in southern Germany is conducting research on what men and women look for when they buy a car. The first vehicle he looked at was the new version of the Porsche 911. It has everything a man's heart desires, doesn't it? This model, the Porsche 95 percent of people who buy this Porsche 911, the new GT3, are men. If you see a woman sitting in it, it's probably because her husband bought it. Women are completely different when it comes to cars. For them, a car should be spacious, have leather upholstery, and lots of room for shopping. Would this SUV make the cut? It's easy to get into, we have lots of space inside, and we have a high seating position, which women appreciate a lot. Research indicates that women decide more than 75% of all car purchases, even if it's a man who ends up doing the driving. Car makers have to know how to please both sexes. Unfortunately, I have to think rationally because I've got two children and a dog and I need a lot of space. I like them very fun and very little. I don't like, like anything showy. I don't like anything with too much attitude. Speed is important and anything to do with safety. The Italian car maker Fiat knows its target group well. About 63% of the people who buy the Fiat 500 in Germany are women. What is it that women like so much about the compact car? As the Japanese say, this is a kawaii. So uh, it's, a, it's a word just to, to show that the car is round, small, uh, cute. Uh, this, uh, they, they indicate like that, this car. I think it's a kind of design that the, 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 uh, the, the woman, the women uh, like uh, really much. But here in Geneva, what are the male buyers looking for? For many, cars are still a status symbol, and around 20% of male buyers go for models by Audi and BMW. I believe the tendency is still towards men preferring fast cars with powerful engines and a distinctly sporty feel to them. But are the statistics right? We took a spot check. I like fast cars and big cars, at least 250. That, that's, that's the minimum. <laughs> but a growing number of women are also choosing fast convertible cars. I like small cars, but if I had lots of money, I think I'd definitely buy a Porsche or, yeah, a sports car. This is not a sports car, but it is a car that is driven by men and women in equal numbers, the Mini. Konrad Vesner says the Mini has one distinct advantage over others. Simple controls, not too many complicated instruments. Everything is very robust and right from the first glance you know what everything is for. Easy to use. Men are impressed by the car's 175 horsepower, which is a lot for a car of this size. Men tend to like gadgets and driving, women like quality and style. One thing's for sure, women and men's preferences when buying cars are becoming more and more similar. But whether it's a compact or luxury sports car, the Geneva Motor Show has something for both men and women.